Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So for those who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Tomazzini and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a luxury sunglass collection. Uh, so if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. I have two Instagram accounts and I will link it down below. So without further ado, let's do it. So I love sunglasses. I don't know if I mentioned this for you guys, but I am a huge sunglasses fan. Uh, for these couple of years, I have been good. So I haven't purchased so many sunglasses as the years before but before I was totally obsessed so I love like the couture sunglasses but for these like couple of years now I have been pretty good so I just been buying like sunglasses that I can use daily so you guys are gonna see very different sunglasses so that's kind of interesting so I hope you guys like it so I thought, just start, let's start with uh, basics. So the first um, pair are actually, or the first uh, bunch that I have are from Rayban. So the first one is this one right here. I don't know the name of it, but I adore these sunglasses. I think like they're very effortless and for daily use and Ray-Ban is a really good brand for sunglasses. It's a very good quality. So I mean, they look really, really good on and you can actually do whatever you want with these sunglasses. They actually will never break. So they look like this. It's beautiful and they are in black and gold. So yellow gold. So that's why I love them so much. Then the second pair that I bought from um, Raven are these ones. And this one I use a lot, especially during summer vacations. So when we were in Bali and stuff, these are perfect. Like Bali style, you know, like a kind of a little bit hippie because they are like round and very sleek. So I like these sunglasses so much. I don't know if I look good in them, but I love the vibe of them, especially during summer. They're very easy. They're very lightweight. So... I like this one so, so much. I don't think my husband is a huge fan of Ravens, but on girls, but uh, I like this one and I always use them. Of course, I'm very dirty right now, so I need to, I really need to clean them. So, so these ones are my favorite two pairs from Raven. Next are my Gucci sunglasses. I just have one pair of Gucci. I don't know why, because I love Gucci sunglasses. But this pair is also a very old pair. I think I bought it whew, nine years ago, probably. Like a very, very long time. But I love the shape of them. Do you guys see it? They are round. And then on the side, they have the Gucci logo in the gold. And they look really like expensive very big and i don't know i love them the only thing is they fell down really easily um but like they are so beautiful you can wear them like for every occasion they're like so classic and because this pair part is so uh sm like so thin it really makes your um like your face looks so like elegant, like it's so beautiful. I love them, these so, so much. I don't know, like I think I just found them in a random sunglasses uh, website and I ordered them immediately. And I'm happy that I bought this also because I never seen them again. Like it was just this time I saw them. When it comes to Fendi, I do have just one pair. And this one I bought in Rome when I was there um, visiting. I It's always like this. Every time I'm going to um, see my family in south of Italy, I always go to Rome as well, like two, three days, because I love Rome so much. Such a beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, shopping is amazing. People are amazing. Food is amazing. So I just... Rome has my heart, it's like this. And I found this pair in the Rinascente, it's like a luxury uh, mall, there are guys I already told you about, that it's also in Milan. And there they have these amazing sunglasses and they were on sale, but it was a very long time. And what they have, they're like in a brownish color and they have like the Fendi logo on the side, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, and it also has like roses 
on the sides so they look like this they kind of look a little bit of the one that I showed you guys before, the one from Gucci. They are like a little round and big and also here it's very as well thin. I think it looks so much more put together, classic and elegant. So I have been using these sunglasses for the longest time. I still do also if they're not as trendy as they were back in the days, but I do love Fendi sunglasses. I think they are like staples and classics and it's so beautiful the interior of the Fendi case So yeah, it's pretty pretty beautiful Next is Prada. I have one Prada sunglasses and this one I hunted down so much because when I bought them these one were so hyped everyone want them they were sold out everywhere and I ran in every store in Milan tried to figure out where they were and now they're not trendy anymore like they're very out there um, but back in the days everyone had them so I'm gonna show you how they look but personally I still love them and I don't wear them anymore but I think they're coming back like 100%. So this one is the box, it's a huge box and look at the sunglasses. They are round and look at the side. <laughs> so the side look like this. Oh, they're so beautiful. I'm gonna show you how they look. Like on me, when you see them in front, they look so like classic and put together and then you watch the sign <laughs> and they look like this. I mean, I like them. I think they're beautiful. It's a classic. I mean, Prada really went out with their sunglasses collections back in the days. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure how they do right now with sunglasses, but back in the days, they were on fire. So I bought this and I will never get rid of them. I think they are just beautiful. So I don't really care what people think. I love them so much. Next is Dior, and to be honest, I am a huge fan of Dior sunglasses. I wish I had more to show you guys. I just have two, a two pair. I wish I had like three more. They're different, they're like on my wish, wish list, but of course, they're, I think more, most of them are too old or not trendy anymore, but I still love them. So this one was my first pair from Dior, and Dior is kind of very expensive when it comes to sunglasses. Um, looks like this the case the case is really cute like with a gray inside and these one were so hyped but i had so much problem with these sunglasses so this one are the one with the reflected silver um lens and i love these sunglasses so much they were on my waiting wish list for the longest time then i got them in milan but they had the defect so it's like the lens got blue and then I went to the store and I say no it's not okay like they're getting like blue on the side and I never seen something like this and then they gave me a new pair and now it's the same issues they have like this blue color on the lens I mean you don't see it when you put the sunglasses on but you see it when you put down um, the sunglasses like on the table and it's very annoying and I mean these were so expensive I think I paid 350 euros back in the day so it's a lot of money and they just had issues so I don't know if the camera can pick it up but it has like a blue lens still there like a like a mark like I don't understand I never I was so careful with my sunglasses they never fell down nothing so i mean i don't know what happened but they are beautiful like i love them i know this is not the shape that is trendy anymore but i liked so much these sunglasses so i will never get rid of them and now they still have this issue so yeah i know i'm a typical like sunglass collector i don't care i will never sell it also if it's not trendy anymore then my last purchase of sunglasses is, are not actually sunglasses, but they're also from Dior. Whoop. Exactly, yeah. And this is a Visio, Visio, like a Visio. <laughs> I can't even talk. This one is with the gray and it still has the plastic on because I'm planning to use this this summer 
because I was planning to go to Bali as you guys know and then because of everything corona lockdown I couldn't go to Bali so I couldn't take this one with me so of course it still has plastic and everything and this one is the classic one when it says Christian Dior on the back side and in front it says Je Dior and this one is like I think it's like a metallic gray color and it looks like this I mean look how gorgeous it looks I can't wear to use this like I'm so like into this vizier right now and I wanted this for the longest time so I'm so happy I got it it's so beautiful and it, behind it says Christian Dior so I mean such a beautiful beautiful visual such a beautiful item I mean I'm so obsessed with this but I haven't been using it uh, until now so let's hope now for summer I can use it on the boat um, or yeah at the beach that's the only the only way I'm gonna wear it or a beach club because I mean for beach club this one is also perfect then my favorite sunglasses of all time has to be the one from Celine so I do have three pairs from Celine because I'm obsessed with their um, like like shape and everything I mean they're so beautiful they're expensive but they are amazing I have three pairs so the first pair that I ever bought I think yeah it is it's actually this one that doesn't fit that good there are this brownish one and they are very very big like I don't even know if I look good in them but yeah this one are were my first Celine because everyone had this one on and I was so obsessed with them so I need to have them but I just ordered them so I never tried them on and when they came um, home I thought oh my god they are too overpowering too big I'm never gonna use them and I use them quite a bit to be honest but the one that I bought afterwards like I'm obsessed with them these one are okay but um, they're not my favorite from the Celine um, collection that I have then the second pair that I bought is the one that I was so obsessed with and I still am is actually the one Kim Kardashian made so popular when when it's like like this and I still use this one to death I use this one for Bali all the time for like big vacation by beach clubs like these one are everything they are so flattering on this on the face they just look flawless so I'm so happy I got this and this one is with the ombre effect you can also buy them total black but also impossible to find and the ombre is like here are they like brown and then they get darker and darker now they're up here they're totally black and oh my god they're so flattering on just my on my personal opinion on my face so this one I still wear a ton so this one was a huge and a very good good purchase on my part and the last and it's also my last pair I bought now from Celine this one I also hunted down so much I saw them first in uh, was it in Zurich? I think it was in Zurich and I was like oh my god they're everything but they were very expensive and I thought mm -mm, I pass on on this let's wait then I wanted them then I went back to the store sold out they didn't have them and then I thought okay what I should do now and I went in different Celine store they didn't have them anymore and then I had a lucky lucky strike I was in Germany in a normal like optic um like sunglasses and eyeglasses store and suddenly they had this pair so I bought them immediately and even didn't think about them look look how beautiful they are like total black see it says Celine and look how good they are on I mean these one are a classic classic pair something that I will always always wear it's a classic shape they look really good on the skin on the face I mean they are just perfection like I am so in love with them they are so beautiful this one is, I will bring with me today uh, at the lake so I can't wait to wear this on the lake because they are just amazing just so good and my last brand collection of sunglasses 
is the most extravagant one that I have. That's why I waited until the end to show you guys because these are not for everyone. These one are the one from not other than Dolce and Gabbana. So the first pair I got is another pair. This one was the first one my mom got for me, got for me when I was 18 for my, um, when I took my um, driving license, she got them as a present. So these ones are not trendy anymore. They're very, very old, but they are so cute. So I, I will always, always, I share them and I always I will always keep them this one are with the Swarovski crystal on and they look like this I mean these one are not trendy anymore but back in the days everyone wanted this they were always sold out and I had my mom handed down for me so this one was such an amazing gift my mom gave to me the other two are very very extra so this pair is so extra comes from the couture collection look at the beautiful velvet box that it comes with and these are not for everyone do you guys see them they are gorgeous they have like flowers and they're like yeah they're lightweight and they have everywhere like refined i don't know if the camera can focus but you guys see how they are made they're just beautiful and so lightweight i don't think they are fluttering on my uh, face so much so i use them just occasionally like if i'm in italy um in milan or like at the beach or positano then i will wear them because they are beautiful these were so expensive i think they were over 500 euros but it was a present it was a gift but oh my god these sunglasses are so cool not for everyone i know and it's like in gold it just came with this gold color not with the silver um personally i don't care i think like this one are a collection piece collector piece so i will always always keep this then my last pair that I have is also very extra and this one I used so much. I still do. I love, love, love these sunglasses. Let me show you how they look. Beautiful like velvet um, burgundy color the cover comes with and look at this amazing piece. Look at them. It has gold like baroque uh, on the side and also here let's see if the camera can pick it up so you guys can see it look how beautiful they are these are so couture i mean i think dolce and gabbana does the most amazing sunglasses for the quality for the originality and i mean it's so italian do you guys see it it's so Italian to have really extravagant pair of sunglasses and these are certainly one of them. I mean, look how gorgeous they look. I mean, I adore these sunglasses. I mean, I think I'm gonna wear them today. Like, I think I'm gonna wear them today, not the Celine one. I mean, they're so, so cool. Look at this. My God, I love them so much. I still do after all these years, these are still one of my favorite pair and the quality of them. I mean, I've been using them so much. The quality is unbelievable. So guys, that was it for my YouTube video. If you guys like it, click a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, okay? Bye.